do you cope with your emotions and stress? Do, you, do what it like? What do you do? I learned the power of breath, and I know that may sound to a lot of people like, yeah, yeah, we heard it. But seriously, I learned the power of breath maybe like ten years ago. I started implementing it though, um, maybe like five years ago. So I because I need to find a positive way to cope. I come from a family, as a lot of us, of um, alcoholism and other destructive ways to learn how to cope with stress. So even as a kid, that's, I've always been mindful, and now that I'm older, of what I wanted to be and do like when I was older. When I was younger, I would think that. So when I would watch somebody get go for a bottle, or go for a cigarette or something like that, and I, can't, I don't like the smell of cigarettes, I never have. I would always be like, okay, when I get older, I'm not going to do that. So when I was, like, in my 20s, I would watch comedy. I actually sometimes still watch comedy. When I'm angry, I will literally put on comedy, and it makes me laugh, and it makes me feel better every time. But also the power of breath. So I find positive ways to implement something that I'm really going to do so I can really put on comedy. I can really take a, pos uh, take a deep breath in the moment to feel better. But also if I'm, like, dealing with my kids, because my children are, like I said, they're not just – seen and not heard they can communicate with me like okay if I made them feel a certain way that was negative it's not just shut up go sit down I don't want to hear it let's have dialogue and let's talk about it and then we always walk away feeling better even if you still can't download that app that I told you you can't like that's gonna stay firm you know but they you know we talk about it I'm so big into talking about you know like the elephant in the room it makes people feel uncomfortable, but once you just pull through, then you feel better. I'm okay with being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm.